Why well, you do what you do? Because it's all about the theatre and enjoying the drinks as well. But you know all about me. Welcome to Singapore. Why are we in Singapore? Well, there's the weather, the amazing hotels. Should I get um, two Singapore's name for you? Yes, alcohol. Yes, please. Okay, great. And the amazing farms. Got any durian? Uh, no. Mostly because they're unbelievable bars. We've shown you some of Melbourne's amazing bar culture. Pretty good. This place is off the hook. It's the champagne. Mm -hmm. It's the prize if you are interested. On the world's 50 best bar listing, Singapore has six in the list. And on the sub list of the 50 best bars in Asia, Singapore has a massive 11, with four of them in the top 10. So who should I take on this amazing bar adventure? Well, I wouldn't take any of my drunken mates. <laughs> <laughs> this trip needs some class. But you know all about me. <laughs> you do, anyway. This is, of course, my wife for the last 22 years, Inter. She's joining me for this international bar adventure. For our first stop tonight, we're heading to the Manhattan Bar. Located hidden away in the upstairs lobby of the Singapore region, Manhattan is the world's number 11 of the top 50 bars and number two in Asia. Studying New York, New York. The New York, New York, yeah? Yeah. Got one of my Sure. How long have you been here? Four and a half years now. Sorry. And you get your names? Yeah. Inter. Sorry? Inter. In Ether. Inter. 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 Yeah. yeah. And Michael. Inter. Inter. Intergalactic. Oh, Inter. Oh. Intergalactic. Okay, got it. Michael as in Michael. Michael as in Michael. I'm Tim. So uh, nice to meet you guys. Is your great dream to be head bartender? Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's kind of like management position. Yeah, everybody wants to be a manager one day. Uh, What do you think of Manhattan Bar? Very nice ambience, isn't it? It's very classy. It feels, quite, it feels really intimate, even though it's quite large, but you know, we're in our own little bubble here. Very nice. Yep. So for this New York, New York, we have a segment on the Barrel program, right? Yep. Called Friends of Manhattan series. So the Friends of Manhattan series is basically us. We're getting in some of the master blenders to come down and create a cocktail. So this is actually done by Chris, the master blender for uh, Woodford. Oh, okay. Give it a try in a minute, yeah? Is it Bucks Fizz? My Fizz. That's got that definite theme. Yeah, fruit, fruit, fruit. Yeah. So that they think best suits the wood itself, and then we age it. We release it in the menu once it's done inside. It's a very limited bag. So the New York, New York is my head. Came out of one of those. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the battle for the New York. Oh yeah, yeah. So again, uh, super limited. We don't refill this battle with signatures. One more interesting thing about this room is that every Sunday we do brunch in Manhattan. So this room transforms into a milkshake station. We will set up a big selection of sweets here. Oh yeah. We have a trolley that will be parked just outside. And in there someone will be making a milkshake for you depending. And then you walk into this room and basically add whatever you want on top of your uh, milkshake. On top of your, your, yeah. your spiked milkshake. Yeah. yeah. It has to be spiked if not yeah, it's yeah. up Manhattan. Right? No. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. The idea is that whenever we have to eat something new in the menu, it is physically available here. We don't have to imagine those flavors. You can actually taste them, touch, feel it. And, uh, a recent addition to this room is this wall over here. It's called the American Whiskey Embassy Program. And it's in a way uh, kind of a museum. It's a museum where you can actually drink whatever is in there. <laughs> And you had one prohibition era. We do have one here. The neck of the bottle, you can still see the tax stamp. Old Oscar Pepper. <laughs> Thank you very much. A beautiful place. Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your stay in Singapore. Super special. <laughs> what did you think of Manhattan Bar? I loved it. I don't know, I think it would be a great place to go for a date night to be honest. Happily described as a very sexy bar in Singapore. Yeah, I would agree. The drinks, like whatever they used to make them, just was really, really good. Yeah, tasty but not lethal. Yeah, my tolerance is very low, so I feel very sound of mind. What's your official bar humbug score out of 10? Only for, because it's the first bar I've ever scored, I'll give it a 9. <laughs> Sensational bar. 10 out of 10 for me, and there's got to be an 11 somewhere. <laughs> So it can only get better. Check out the Manhattan Bar in Singapore. It's four thumbs up. Yep. That's because you were there. Thank you. <laughs> See you, Thrill Seekers. Look what the poor people are doing today. <laughs> Tonight we're hitting the rails in search of Singapore's OG Speakeasy Bar, 28 Hong Kong Street. Winning the inaugural Best Bar in Asia Award in 2016, this place set the standards for Singapore. Now we've got the address, how hard can it be to find, right? But it's locked. But it's not. <laughs> but I'm scared. <laughs> mm. Started, yeah? Yes, uh, three in Hong Kong started eight years ago. Basically, like the OG to start movement of cocktail craze. We are serious about our cocktail drinking. The motto for, for today in Hong Kong is independent and trusted spirit. You don't see like, Bombay Sapphire around. But a lot of our staff, we kind of support the independent small boys. Yeah, you got four pillars. Yeah, good. All the way from Melbourne. How many times have they won an award for the best gin in the world? A yeah. couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's how it started off. How about today in Hong Kong? Get to making with Jive Boy. When it hits you, yes, 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 you shall. When it hits you, yes, 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 yes. Here we are. Thank you. I got Miss America. Thank you very much. There you go. And this will be the uh, wooden racket. Beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you very much. You gotta get through the frost. Apologies for the background noise, we've got a TV running. And tonight, at everybody's suggestion, we went to... 28 Hong Kong Street. First they put Singapore on the map in terms of bars. Great place, very friendly. You don't have to dress up to go there. You mm. sure they wouldn't say no? Mm. So I gave 28 Hong Kong Street a 9 out of 10. I really love them. I, I felt like it was going to a Melbourne bar, actually. It's got that sort of youthful, yeah, just comfortable. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, very relaxed atmosphere. Really, again, outstanding drinks. A very creative stuff, like infusing Earl Grey tea into pims. But I give uh, Hong Kong Street uh, a nine as well. Not too 
hard to find, but <laughs> it's reasonably hard to find. <laughs> We thought they were closed. Yeah, reasonably hard to find, we, but they were open. So uh, absolutely superb bar. Must check it out. So the adventure continues. We've still got more places to go to. Come along with us. Good night, bar humbuggers. What an amazing room. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this place. Ooh, we're going behind the bar. Please come to Atlas with the best bar in Asia. Yes. And the world. <laughs>